I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Dennis Kudla. I'm Jesper de Jong. I'm Henry Laksa. I am Francisco Segundolo. And, and you are listening to the Game to Love podcast. Hey, welcome back, tennis fans. It's the Miami Open draw preview for the women's. It's exciting. We had the draw reaction. There's some really great con well, contests in the first round and some hard routes for some of our top competitors in this Masters draw. JG, are you ready to go through yet another long Masters draw? Yes, then. Yes, I can't wait. We're in Miami. It is the second part of the Sunshine Double. And Miami is a beautiful place. Shame we're actually not in Miami and we're just at home behind a laptop with um, a fake green screen of Miami. I don't even have the green screen. So <laughs> it's, it's not quite in Miami, but we will be watching the tennis there. And I thought Indian Wells was a high level. I'm not going to be criti critical of it at all. The only thing which was a little bit of a downer was the umpires uh, and the organisation and the lack of the audio at times, messing up at crucial moments. The umpires, it's not their fault. They they did a good job. But that was a little bit annoying, the technology playing up. Hopefully we don't get it in Miami. But if we can get the same level of tennis, I will be very, very happy. Of course, we had Rebecca winning Miami, She uh, winning Indian Wells. She beat Eager along the way. And they're drawn in the same section from the draw reaction. So they would face yep. each other in the quarter final. That's exciting. Um, I think that this one, Rebecca, she could easily go on and take another Masters title. She could do the Eager of last year. Saba, I feel that she's got an easier half of the draw, so she'll be happy with that. But we'll find out how tired will these ladies be going through this if they've just played nearly two weeks of tennis just uh, in the last, I'd say it was probably about 10 days because they start midweek. But if you go all the way to a final, you've played a lot and you don't want to play anyone tough in those first few rounds because you could come a cropper. Yeah, I also want to just quickly touch on Indian Wells and congratulate uh, the champion, Ardell, in the tipper battle. I know we did it on the last one, but thank you, Ardell. You smashed it. I don't think he's in the live chat tonight, but maybe you're listening on repeat. Uh, and of course, Sankit is here. So shout out to Sankit. Yes, you also you. did an amazing job finishing second. And if MJ is listening, well done to you as well, because you came third. So the big three... On the top tippers, it was a good battle. Let's see if we can get a big battle in Miami as well. Maybe Ems can lead the way or Gene can take it from all of them. Uh, let's wait and find out. We've got Sanky in though, saying Miami opens more fun, humid conditions and kind of favour hard hitters. Yeah, it should Not be. Not good if you're playing Ribikina then because she's she hits it quite hard. She definitely does. So does Saba as well. This will uh, be an interesting one to see if we get the same finals as we did we had, obviously, on the men's side, Alcalas versus Medvedev. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we're going to get the exact same finals again. It's up for grabs, but I feel that there's going to be some different storylines that are going to be uh, playing out in Miami. I feel that there's going to be some people with some scores to settle as well. Obviously, mainly maybe Eager being one of them. So I'm excited to go through it. I have no clue what I'm going to do with this one yet. But I'm happy to start off with the previous winners, as we always do. Yeah, we've also got someone asking, Emma, uh, when, when will you be doing the ATP prediction? Draw came out a few hours ago. We will be doing a draw reaction for that. I was thinking maybe we could do it tonight. Yeah, we could squeeze it. Yeah, if we get through this, then maybe we can do it after this and give our thoughts on the draw. Yep. I, had I may need a little look. break, so I want to have a quick shower and a freshen up. But then, I don't mind. I'm still working from home tomorrow, so we could do a little, a later one. Let's just see how long this one goes. But please stay tuned for the end of the video, and we'll let you know whether we're doing the men's draw reaction today as well. Exactly right. Okay, so these are the previous winners in Miami. Eager, as we remember, well, she had back-to-back -back wins and back-to-back -back, uh, domination. And this one, I remember it well when we covered it. She defeated Osaka with the bagel in the final. Osaka was playing well, that event, yeah. right? 
was playing very well. And it was a bit of a shock that she wasn't even competitive against Iga. Barty, the two-time champ, was the last two champions before that. And we had Angie Escu. I remember that one very well as well. And she got all the way to the final. We thought, is she back? And then, unfortunately, the retirement in the final. But... She yep. got all the way to the final here, and who knows? She's in not a bad section, Bianca Andreescu. Uh, if she gets past her first round matchup, Emma Raducanu, Ben Sakari, who knows? Yeah, no Serena Williams, of course, who's won it eight times. But Azarenka is there, and she's won this event three times. So I did yep. speak about her on the draw reaction. She has a shot of going far, I think. Indeed. I think that this could be a, one of your... Little special Azarenka brackets, maybe potentially on this one. Who knows? Let's, right, go, let's, into... let's go through the qualifiers to yep. watch. And we have one more qualifying match to go. And it's oh. playing right now. And it's Siegeman Lees. So unfortunately, the qualifiers aren't going to be placed for this one. So it might be a case of just doing a few adjustments later on or in the morning, most likely. Um, but yeah, Mukova did qualify. I think she is the real standout and I the thought. one I want to really talk about. Unfortunately, Jody Burridge went out in the last round. The Brit lost to Seb off. Smid Lova, I think, is dangerous at times. Golia Bix, always. She's always a qualifier and she's one I always have to watch. And Cesarenko beat Harriet Dart in straight set. So another one who I think is quite good. So I'd probably highlight Golia Bix, Cesarenko and Mukova as the top three qualifiers to watch. Yep. I'd agree with that. Mukova, the real standout, though, as you're saying. Agreed. And she's, and she's my it. dark horse. I already had it in the draw reaction. She's absolutely killed Watson and Kucheva in her two matches. I think there was three breadsticks in there out of four sets. So it's a little she'll... bit annoying because if we knew where Mukova was in this draw, most likely I would have her going super far. But I don't know where she's going to be. So I will have to adjust this slightly. Apologies, okay. guys the morning that's all right i think we're gonna to have to do it because you can't ignore the fact muka was in there and she was the only person to take a set off of rebacina so yeah just quickly ben are you have an issue with your um stream right now it only says one person's in here yeah i'm seeing that as well i don't know I'm what's, sure going, what's on. going on yeah i don't know what's going on either i'm gonna try and refresh and just see what happens yeah it says 38 are waiting on youtube so i don't understand that but let us know if you're managing to uh access this normally on uh on youtube or not working but if everyone can hear us normally then that's fine um let's just continue it says it's fine it said that there were just 38 waiting but it says they're 36 in on youtube it's just our streaming things that's not working i think it's not picking up the numbers we okay. normally see them in-house on on the screen in here but it's fine it is there on youtube so no okay. problem. That's fine. So let's get into it then. Eager with the bye. Yes. Right. I'll have Sinia Kova beating Claire Lou. Agreed. Yeah. I'm then going to have Danka Kovinic. We don't know who she's playing. If it is going to be Mukova, I'll definitely go Mukova. Same. Uh, Televisan with a bye. Ostapenko with a bye. Paulini. Corpatch. We don't know for now. Hadid Maya. Rebakana. Kalinskaya to beat uh, yep. Jimenez Katinseva, I think that is. Sharif, we don't know who she's playing yet, but could be Bedoza. a tough match. Yeah, Badoza with the bye. We can whiz through this one until we get a proper matchup. Right, here we go. Brenda Flavitova versus yep. Zhu Wang. Flavitova for me. I think we got her. I feel it's going to be tough, though. Who is the uh, better of... Flavitova? I'd say Linda, just based upon age at the moment. Yeah. She's got a little bit more experience on the tour. Not much, but enough just to uh, warrant it. And she's gone well, a little I'm not bit just further. watching you. I'm not even doing it. <laughs> <laughs> just going through up. The... But just to give a little bit of background, she's 142 in the world. She is just coming off the back of another tournament win, I believe, in uh, India. She beat Ankita Reina in the final of an Ooh. ITF. So she's just won another ITF event. She seems to be great in the ITFs. And she did qualify for the Australian Open, remember? And she did lose to Sasnovich, did Flavitova. But uh, Wang, she is number 58 in the world. 
She did. She'll be favourite. To... Yeah, she did just lose to Potter uh, Potapova in the last. Potopova. Uh, yeah, I don't know which one it is. Potapova, Potapova. Um, she lost to her in three, and Potapova is good. So it's going to be a tough okay. one. Moving on, I'm going to have Alicia Parks. I'm going to have Cassid Keener. I'm going to have I'm Pagula. Going... The other Flubitova. Davis, Collins, Lynette. Uh, I'm going to go Pera. Yeah, I think that's wise. I'll go Georgie here to beat Kanepi. Yeah, Kanepi's not in good form at all. Azarenka, Samsonova. Nobody. Like, <laughs> uh, Who's Ila? Begu. Do we know anything about Ila? No, I'm not sure. Let me just give you a little bit of background. 219 in the world. And how old? 17 years old from oh. the Philippines. Oh, awesome. So, Wish her well. Yeah, exactly. I don't think she's going to win, but anyway, Begu's through for me. King Wing Zeng, Potopova, Kostyuk, yep. uh, yes. Putin Seva, yep, Putin Seva, Goff, Sakri, and this is the big one Andreescu, Rajukanu. Which way are you going to go? Um, uh, I'm going to go Andreescu. <sighs> I'm going to surprise you. I'm going to go Raducanu. She made the final here before. Oh, amazing. Uh, Emma there. Uh, Ila? I'm not sure how to say it. Iwela? Is it Ila? Ila. Ila, She she won the Junior US Open. Oh, okay. So, good player. Impressive. That's in that last year. Yeah, Alexandra Iala. Yeah. Wow. Really good. The comes the first Philippine... First Filipino to win a I've not seen junior many Filipino Grand Slam. Tennis players, no. Yeah, first ever Filipino to win a junior Grand Slam. So well done to her. Moving down, Sophia Kenin will be against a qualifier. We don't know who yet. Kalanina, Alexandrova, Taylor Townsend versus Bondargo Townsend here. It's a bit of a risk. Fernandez probably playing a qualifier here, but we don't know who yet. Bencic with a bye. Kvitova with a bye. I'm going to go Noskova to knock out Blonsetti. I'm going to go Anisimova to knock out Brengel. Donna Vekic with a bye. Zhang with a bye. Andreva versus Kruger. Ooh. I might go... I think we're going to go Andreva. I'm going Andreva as well. Zanevska playing a qualifier, but come back and adjust tomorrow. Ons Jabur with a bye. Garcia with the bye. I'm going to have Sir Steyer knocking out Contreras Gomez. Teichmann, yeah, me too. Yeah, Teichmann to have a qualifier. We don't know who yet. Zhu with the bye. Plisk with the bye. Uh, Xinyu Wang playing a qualifier. We'll come back to that one. Uh, Von Drosova to knock out Tatiana Maria. Are you the same with that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Kudometova with the bye. So many buys. No, this first That's round just need to go play. through. It's not even point saying it. Just go through the first round and we'll start from there. Okay. Um, because otherwise it's I... just pointless. There's, there's some matches. Sloan, Steve and Shelby Rogers. Worth pausing on that. Yeah. Um, it's near the bottom. And I'm going to have Rogers beating Stevens. Yeah, I'm going to go with you on that as well. And I think it really is that one and the Radicardi one. It's the only one we really need to... Yeah, I think you're probably right. There's just a lot of buys and a lot of gaps. to talk about. Yeah. So the gaps are gone. Let's go to the top. Eager, I think she easily beat Sinia Kova. Yep. I'll go Kovinic to beat Trevisan. Yeah, I mean, Trevisan doing well to just live off of that seed, <laughs> getting buys through a few tournaments. I'll have Ostapenko beating Paulini. Yep, same here. How did Maya to beat Korpac? Yep. We're back in her, definitely. The dozer yeah. for sure. Yep. Uh, Martic, I think, to beat Fruvitova. Who did she play in the first round? Wang. I mean, it's going to be a tall order as it is. I might just go for it. I'm going to go for Fruvitova to have a little run. Why not? I'm going to have Kasatkina beating Parks. I'm going to have Mertens to beat Kasatkina. I'll go Pagula, Fruvitova. Yeah. That's just too much power. Collins to beat Davis. Yep. I'd agree. Lynette to beat Pera. Not sure on that one. I might go Pera. I might think Lynette's in a bit of a wobbly patch. It wasn't good against Raducanu, was she? Exactly. Azarenka to beat Georgie. Yeah, I'm going to join with that. Yeah, Emma saying, Televisan's been losing in early rounds for ages. (laughs) Don't know how she's still seeding these events. Yeah, it's a bit of a nuts one, isn't it? I don't know how she's doing it. I don't think it will last. 
Uh, Samsonova. I'll have yep. King Wing Zeng, Potopova, Coco Goff. And this is a big one. Sakri Radikan. I think this is the end of the line for Radikan. I'm going to have Sakri winning. I'm going to have Kostya to knock out Potopova. Goff to knock out Putin Saver. I'm going to have... I'm, I'm going to go Andreescu to knock Ooh, out Sakari. Going against Sakari for a change. That's not like you. I've got her in my top 10. And I've got a double down on some of these picks. And then... Kenin I'm gonna go Kenin. Yeah, I mean that's dodge. Uh, she might she might be playing Muk of her first round, so never know. I'll change that all around if that's the case. I'm gonna go Alexandrova. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna change my mind and go Leila Fernandez. Why not? Yeah, I'm going Leila Fernandez in this one. Sorry, Ben Chich. You burned me once, not again. I have Kavitova. I think I'm gonna go for something a bit crazy here as well. Call me crazy. I'm going to go Noskova to knock out Kovitova. Noskova. Is it that way? How you say it? <laughs> I'm going to have Dona Vekic to beat Anisimova. Sadly, I think you're right. I'm, Anisimova is going out of mine as oh, well. God, she's in your top 10, Ben. I can only have one. I can't have both of them. Just go big on her. I can't. It's just too much jeopardizing the bracket. I'm going to have Shui Zhang. Yeah, I'll go with that. Jabur. And Garcia yeah. to get revenge after losing to Sir Star in Indian Wells. Hmm. That's a tough one. I might go for I might go for Sir Star to beat her again. God, you got a lot of seeds out in yours today. I'll have Linzu or Tyke. I'm gonna have Linzu. Yeah, I would agree with you there. Yeah, I've not even been drinking either today, which is crazy. I'm gonna have Piska for beating <laughs> Wang. What? <laughs> Finalist there. She likes it. Yeah, I love Pliskova as well. And... I'm going to go Vondrusova to knock out Kudometova. Oh, God. That's a bit of a tough one to pick. Kudometova. I don't think Kudometova has been doing that good, has she? Not seen oh. her. I'll have to have a little Did quick... you tip her to win Australian Open? Yeah, she's disastrous since then. <laughs> her and her sister. <laughs> don't know why. Yeah, she lost to Pliskova in, the, in Indian Wells in straight yeah. sets. So... Yeah, I'll go with Andrusova as well. Kachikova to beat Sasnovich. Yeah. Keys to beat Montgomery. I'm not sure on this. I'm going to go Bogdan to knock out Keys. Why not? I'll have Yul Niemeyer to beat Bauskova. I'm going to go Bauskova on this one. And I'll have Sabah from the bottom. Yep, Sabah from the bottom. All right. I mean, this is really picking itself. Has the women just become easy to pick now? It's becoming like the old men's bracket. The men's is harder to pick than the women's, I think. For my yeah, I think, I think so. I'm going right. to have Eager beating Kovinic. Yeah. She doesn't lose them ones. How did Maya to beat Ostapenko? Not for me. I'm going to go Ostapenko. I'll go back in her to beat Badoza again. Yep, I'm back in that. Cassid Keen to beat Martic. Oh no, what have I I've got I don't know, Mertens or Flavitova? <laughs> What's <laughs> Mertens there. even done recently? I don't even know if she's yeah, even I'll been push playing well. I don't know if I can, but I'd prefer to have Flavitova through and then call a worldie. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna that, I think I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, go on. I'll have Flavitova just making a little run here. I'll have Pagula beating Collins. Yeah. Azarenka beating Lynette. Yeah, beating Para for me. Uh, King Wing Zeng to beat Samsonova. Not for me. I'm going to go Samsonova here to knock out Zeng until I see uh, what level she's at. Oh, she's... I sank it since, and I'm already laughing at JG's predictions. I'm definitely going to beat Ben. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone crazy with his. Kathy's um, in. <laughs> I'm late. <laughs> don't how you doing, worry, Kathy? Don't I'll have up. Coco Goff with beating Potopova. Yeah, beating Kostyuk on mine. Sakri beating Kenin. I'm going to have Andreescu going through on mine. Leila Fernandez beating Ale Alexandrova. No, I think... Mm, yeah. Leila no. Fernandez. I'm going to go for it because I want the all-Canadian match. Yeah, I'm going to go for Fernandez as well. Leila Fernandez. I'll have Dona Vekic knocking out Kovitova. Yeah, Vekic knocking out Noskova. Jabir to beat Zhang. Nice draw for Jabir. It is. I'm still not convinced on her at the moment. She lost to Von Dolosova in the last event. Easily. Yeah, straight sets. So... Garcia to beat Zoo. 
I'm gonna have Zoo to knock out Sir Steyer. Your bracket's terrible. I'll have Pliskova <laughs> beating Vondrusova. <laughs> Your bracket. I've gen- generally won. Yeah, Sankis and meant to say Ben. It is honestly awful. I've never seen such a bad Ben bracket. I think he's gonna what finish last. I should have had a beer. I think. I think I'm ruining it with this late night non beer drinking. It's just such a bad one. It's I'm confusing. gonna have Pliskova beating Keys. I've got Pliskova beating Vondrusova. I've already done that one. Kajikova to beat Bogdan. And Sabah Sabah to beat Nima. Yeah, there we go. All of these little... A lot of seeds in mine. That's where they could be going wrong. I think there's going to be loads of seeds. Going out. Right. Eager versus... Eager beating Hadid Meyer. Eager versus Oster. Is Eager fully fit? Is the big question we need to ask. Because she's got like a rib problem at the moment. Just go Ostapenko, Ben. It'll complete your bracket, I think. What if I complete just the joke? Rib injury uh, during her semi final. She explained post match she would get scans to see if she would be yeah, fit she's for my own. You sure she's all right? All right. We'll go with that she's know. all right for now. I mean, she, imagine she just doesn't start. We're back in back and a bit keener. Probably to her. She's finally out. Oh, Pagula Azarenka. I'm going to go Azarenka beating Pagula. I don't think so. To beat the JPEG. I feel that she's strong all the way up until close to the end. She's like another Sakari. Coco Goff to beat King Wing Zeng. Yeah, Coco Goff to beat Samsonova. I'm going to go Sakari to beat Fernandez. I'm going Andreescu to beat Fernandez. She has done well here before Andreescu. Yep. I'm going to go Jabur to beat Vekic. I'm not. This is where we're going to... I'm just mm, not sure yeah, on Jabur yet. Close to doing that, though. I'm not sure yet. I mean, she's pushing it. That result in the last tournament didn't do much for me. I think it's a bit quicker here, though, so it might suit Jabur. I'm, I, I don't know yet, though. I can't put my finger on it. I'm going to have Pliskova <laughs> beating Zoo. <laughs> You'll love that. I'm going to go Garcia to beat Pliskova. Okay. Oof. Here we are. We're back down at the big clash at the bottom. We've got a fourth round. Klaichikova, Sabalenka. Uh, I think Sabah's going to beat her again. I think Klaichikova's going to knock out Sabah. So there's one of my big calls early on. Sabah out. Sorry, Gary. Oh my word, Gary's going to be mad. I can't wait to see his uh, comment after this. Oh, that's been on playback. Right, so moving up to the top again. And we've got the big one. We have Iga Rybakina, number three for the year. So the trilogy. Um, I think it's going to be Rybakina again. Sorry, but if she's not fully fit, Iga, it's not going to help her playing a few more matches. I also think Rabakina is going to be eager. Wow. I'm going Rabakina, knocking eager out. Big call. Next up, we've got Pagula, Coco Goff, and I'm going to be having Coco Goff knocking out Pagula. Yep. In Miami, her hometown, I'm also having Coco Goff, but beating Azarenka. Ooh. Both good matchups. Down to the. Other one here, I have Bianca Andreescu versus Donna Vekic. I've got be... Sarkri Jabur. <laughs> Different. <laughs> I'm going to be going Andreescu to make a good run here at Miami again. And I'm going to have Sarkri knocking out Jabur. Oh, no. It's like he's turned into John Silk all of a sudden. <laughs> and then down to the bottom, Pliskova Sabalenka. Garcia Krachikova. Completely different we've got. And I'm going Sabalenka. I'm going to go Kladchikova. No, I'm going to go Garcia. Oh, it's a weird bracket, <laughs> this one. <laughs> Very strange is. bracket. It's uh, starting to tee up, though, I feel, at this uh, final stage. So let me tell you my semi-finals. We're back in a Coco Goff at the top, and at the bottom, <laughs> yeah. Sarkari Garcia. Sarkari in another semi. <laughs> I've got Rebecca Coco Goff, and I've also I've got Andreescu Sabalenka. 
Okay, go on, you do your top one first. I'm going to go Coco Goff. <laughs> You've lost it. I'm going Rabakina to beat Coco Goff. I'm not sure if that Rabakina might be tiring no, a little bit coming she's, towards she's the end gonna, of the She's tournament. doing the sunshine double. She's ready. But then at the bottom, I've got Sabalenka Andreescu, and I think Sabalenka is going to take out Andreescu and make the final. And my final will be Coco Goff versus Sabalenka. Yeah, I think you know what I'm going to have. And that's Sarkari losing in the semi-finals to Garcia. <laughs> Caroline Garcia to back in a final. Interesting. Gone for very different things and none of us have ego in the final. Insane. <sighs> Who would have thought? We're we missing the trick. I, probably. We probably are. We probably are. Ego's definitely winning now. Okay, Rebakina Garcia. I think Rebakina will win again. She's going to get the Sunshine double. She's just won Indian Well, She's going to win Miami as well. Would be happy if she does as well. Um, very, very nice lady is Rebakina. And I'm hoping she starts getting more and more support the more that she plays and starts playing well. And I feel that Sabalenka, so close to winning last uh, in the last tournament, I think this one she's got a slightly better run. If she gets past Kaichikova, I think that she can win this tournament. Okay, nice one. So you've gone for Sabalenka. I've gone for the back in her. <laughs> They're both in the final of Indian Wells. Let's see who's going to be right, or maybe none of us. Let us know in the live chat who do you think is going to win. If you're watching on repeat, let us know in the comment section. Hit that like button as well and subscribe if you are new. Uh, we've got Azik going for Garcia to win. Interesting. Mm. And Sankit has got a Sabalenka versus Goff slash Rebakina final. Yeah, so he's gone from potentially the same. Same as me then, nearly. Uh, M saying, I say this nicely, but delusional picks from Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. You never never say never on these WTA bra uh, brackets, I think. We've seen crazier things happen. Yeah, and in terms of dark horse, mine's going to be Mukova. We don't know where she's going to be in the draw, but she's a dark horse for me because she can beat all of them. She's very good right now. She might win the event. Who knows? I mean, she might get put in one of those sections where it's not too bad and she might have a little run. But for me, I don't know who my one's going to be. Who have I got who's lower ranks going quite far? Don't well, think it's obvious. Is. Andrescu. Yeah, Andrescu it is. <laughs> It's a good one. We've got <laughs> effortlessly fit and saying, feel so sad that people are losing faith in ego. Are we making a mistake losing no, faith? I her? don't think, I'm not losing faith in her at all. I just, I just think that... it's more the injury, not yeah. the fact that she lost. Yeah. So let I me don't just clarify think... that. I'm, I'm, I yeah. agree with you. It's more the injury, not the fact that she lost. Because of yeah. course, if she wasn't injured, probably would have a win in this. Yeah. I feel that she's would be the favourite for sure if she didn't lose in the fashion she did and then come out and say the injury she had like that's obviously compromising her is she going to be able to get through all the rounds to get to her back and we don't even know that yet it seems like they should be comfortable wins though but ostapenko she's lost to her before so that's why i think if she faces ostapenko that's not a given so an interesting bracket nonetheless and yes. let us know your ones your dark horses in the live chat yeah, we've got Sankit saying Mukova doesn't play two events back-to-back -back great. So that is a little bit of a worry for my one. But let's wait and see. Anyway, that does sum up our draw preview for Miami. Make sure to download the tennis app, TNNS, on Apple or Android. It's free to download and you can enter your brackets as well. Um, I can quickly announce the winner of the last bracket. Oh, some water on my phone. So let's oh. announce that because we've not had a chance to do it. And I don't even know if I, who won out of me and you. Oh. Do you know? I, I was just assuming because I picked Rebecca that I won the women's. Oh, okay. So most likely you won the women's. But let's have a little look. So if I look at the leaderboard, this is just the game to love. I'm, not, oh, I'm doing it wrong. So to do it, you need to hit leagues at the top. You go on to the Game to Love League. You can join that now if you want to, guys. It's free to download and free to join. And then if you look at the... Find the event, Indian Wells. So let's look at the WTA Indian Wells. View the leaderboard. The winner was Max Wellinio with 196 score. Well Whoa. done. 
Well Max done. Wellinio. Um, I'm assuming you called the final with a score like that. 100 picks out of 127 right. Called Rabakina Sabalenka final. Called all of the semis. Iga Rabakina Sakri Sabalenka. Impressive. Got Coco really? in the quarters as well. It's one of the best brackets I've seen. So shout out Maxwellinio. That's really Drop impressive. us a message, Maxwellinio, because this bracket is very good and you have won a prize. So well done. And if Maxwellinio Maxwell is listening, we will send you a prize. Uh, on the men's, there's another there's another prize at stake. So let's have a look at the prize for ATP Indian Wells. And the winner is Deck 96 with 134 Ooh. score. Well, well done, done. Deckers. And he also called the final Adkalaz Medvedev um, and had Sinner in the semi finals, which is a good pick. Did well there. Had Fritz going far as well, TFO going far. It's not a bad one. So, deck 96, drop us a message and we'll get your prize for you as well. I think Fritz so was that the is one. the brackets there. Make sure to enter these ones. There will be two more prizes for the Miami Open, seeing as it is a Masters event. And one big thing to do is to join the Patreon. The reason we say that is because we will be spinning the wheel tomorrow night on the men's draw preview and everyone will be getting, or all the Patrons anyway, will be getting a new player to support for Miami. Have you got the button, Ben? I do. Game to Love presents now exclusive to Patreon. That's right, it's Player Roulette. Yeah, very easy to join. Join the Patreon, and you will be entered to in the wheel, and we'll spin it live on the draw preview for Miami. Big got shout! Gene and I hope I don't get Felix again. Yeah, well. Uh... Well, you had Nishioka, I had Musetti. You never know who you're going to get until the wheel spins. But well done to Tiffany, who did win Player Roulette for Indian Wells. Make sure to message us on Patreon and we will get your prize sorted out for you. That was a great pick, obviously. Managing to get Alcalaz. I mean, we thought Medvedev was going to be the one which everyone wanted. Turned out not to be the case. Exactly that. Thanks for watching, everyone. Good luck in your Miami Open brackets. Drop me and Ben a message if you want anything. We'll try and respond. But if not, we'll see you tomorrow for more action. See you then.